Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battletech. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as I try to bring down two mechs, I believe. That is our objective in general, is just these two more. And I would like to destroy that guy before I destroy the, the diplomat over here. But things are not looking particularly amazing, I would say. And I do want to keep moving because of evasion. Evasion, very important. Ooh, look at that, we have evasion over here. Although I do expose my... Uh, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, because her left arm is uh, sort of, as you can tell, a little bit on the bad side of things. Uh, so let's land. Let's, yeah, let's just go with that. We got auto cannons coming in. All weapons committed. With any luck, that's enough. That's not enough, actually. That wouldn't be enough. We'd need to fill up the whole thing. He'd become unsteady, but that's not enough. Oh, this is the little panther that we were being... Uh, yeah, particle cannon. Really? Really? You particle cannon me at that close range? He has long-range missiles and particle cannon. No, he has short-range missiles. Okay. Uh, so, Behemoth. Behemoth... Uh, well... She can do a cold shot right now. She could shoot him. That would be a thing, but I don't think that's good. I don't think that's what I want. And the reason for that is because Confirmed. he's going to move. He's going to gain evasion. And he's all unsteady, so he's not going to be able to sprint or anything. So That's glitch. I'm okay with that. Okay, that was bad. It's fine, glitch. You're okay. Behemoth isn't. Uh, which is Receiving you. not a good thing at all. Uh, so let's see if I can get some uh, some flanking here. Not with great to hit chance. Even then, it's not too great to On hit chance. Way. Not a big deal, but it's I'd still prefer to land my shots here. Uh, a 55. Oh, we landed two of them. With any luck, we can destroy the other weapons that he has. Specifically, the long or the large missile or the large laser, long range missiles. Where would that be? Where is the laser? Oh, I need to wait. Head. Left arm. I was clicking, by the way. Jump jet on center torso. Where is the laser? Oh, it's on the shoulders. Right. Am I missing the laser right now? Oh, I am, because... Oh, this guy's down. This guy's down. That has L L LRM ammo. As soon as I hit that, he's dead. So let's not hit that right now. Let's uh, let's have uh, Medusa. Receiving you. Oh, you're gonna have so much fun now. Hopefully, no. You can't get up there. Well, you can do that. And execute. Hopefully. That's what we're hoping for all this time. Please don't break your legs. Please don't break your legs. I can't really attack from anywhere else. Affirmative. So here goes jump jets. Kill confirmed, Commander. It is. Very handy. Very handy. That's a kill. Yes, you destroyed that guy. Also, you're completely unsteady and turned around. Fortunately, you have a lot of ammo, uh, uh, armor. Let's look at your mech and see how you're dealing. Legs took quite a beating right there. Uh, and the rest of the stuff is basically the normal damage that we took, I think. Oh, look at that! Almo oh my god, it's the heat sinks. He has a particle cannon, so that would be a bad thing. Commander? Yeah, let's see what you can do over here. Um, I think we're gonna be able to kill that guy. I'm gonna move in. Uh, that's your perfect range. Uh, but then again, if I can move in and sort of attack sideways... Is he guarding? He's not guarding. Yeah, he doesn't... he doesn't mind. Got it. He's gonna die. I, do I also don't understand how he guards early. I don't, like, he was attacking and moving and guarding it all at the same time. I'm not really sure what that is all about. Um, yeah, just bring him down. Oh, we can do precision strike. Also overheating, which is a bit of an issue. Um, but let's attack there. Let's re uh, remove that. How about the medium laser? Oh, perfect. Go with that. Got it. You destroyed that... I mean, there's pieces flying all over the place, but that... I thought that was gonna blow up forever. Hmm. Okay, so we got a... Uh, no, that's a visual. 
Uh, let's see. Can I get a better? No, that's a frontal. That's on the side. Okay. It's pretty good. Let's go for it. It's better on the side than on the front. Also because we want to destroy the torsos. I think if you destroy both both torsos, they are gone. Because that side is completely gone. Uh, and the hit chance is actually pretty amazing, so... Fire everything. There it is. Easy peasy. Not actually. That was that was a pretty fun mission. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. Indeed. That was a pretty cool mission. It we had Well, it could have had more mechs for more coolness, but we got uh we're gonna get a lot of money. Is it money or is it uh, salvage? I don't remember what I chose. Top tier work, Commander. How's Merrick? Is very happy with your performance. Keep it up, and I'll make sure a lot of work comes your way. And this is indeed one of the factions, so that's one of the. That's why that that mission was sort of focused on uh, on getting more work for the future. I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, that's our stars and stuff. Oh, okay. So we filled up one bar before, and we got a star, and now we're filling another bar from the start. And this is quite clearly harder to gain, uh, but that's good. Let's see what we get. Uh, everyone, well, not everyone is okay, but we'll worry about that later. Everyone got kills, though, so that's fine and nice. And, uh, we got two items. A, uh, partial mech salvage. That's nice. You could have given me something better, but whatever. That's for the Jenner, though. Yeah, it's fine. Could have been for the, for the, uh, for the Griffin. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and a medium laser. Not too shabby. That's our salvage agreement. That was for money. So, yeah, it's better to get money. Basically, if you want to, if you plan on selling the salvage, I think it's better to get money than to get salvage. Uh, but I'm sure it depends on the mission. Maybe. I just don't have, uh, don't have anything. Medical expenses. In the morning briefing, briefing, Darius pulls up an inventory spreadsheet on the Leopard's view screen. We're running a little low on medical supplies, he says. Medi patches, trauma packs. A few other things. It isn't critical yet, but I feel better when we're well stocked. Uh, Myers frowns. Why do you, we keep patching our supplies in dribs and drabs? Can't we get some kind of bulk discount and get ahead of this problem? Gods know we'll end up using them, and maybe the doctors can speed up our recovery times for a while. Yeah, buy all the monies. But just oh, can't go with black market. What does that require? I can. What, why is that not a? Do I need to have that trait? It might be. Yeah, buy extra supplies to boost the medical uh, efficiency. Let's go with that. Definitely very important. And plus two medical points boost for 30 days. That's very good. Later in the week, Darius provides an, an update. I did some bargaining and managed to purchase a bulk lot of medical supplies. We always look a little smug after a successful negotiation. Or he always looks a little smug after a, a successful negotiation. We can make these supplies last longer at our previous consumption rate. Per your instructions, however, I've directed the staff to use the surplus to accelerate the recovery times as much as possible for the next month. Yes, that's the whole reason of, to buying that. And we, ha we are out of action for 15 days. Maybe that's not a problem. Depends on what contracts we have. We do have a main mission, but we have other stuff as well. And we have easy ones, apparently, over here that we could do. Insurrection interception. Hmm. For months, we've had trouble with uh, people here in Detroit being riled up by talks of insurrection, rebellion, independence. Based on top, uh, on, based on top local government analysis reports, we believe there is a pirate protagonist in the area stirring up disc discontent. We have set up a security net to capture her, but we can't cover every possible exit from our net, uh, and could use a, an extra lens of mechs. If she, this is of course our uh, client who's uh, who's saying. All of this. If she tries to slip through your assigned territory, turn her vehicle to slag. This sounds lovely. I've negotiated a major bump if we do end up finding the protagonist and eliminating her, as well as a danger pay bonus if she has any escorts and we eliminate them as well. Now, the problem here is uh, the, the, the condition of our mechs. Everything seems to be in order, so that's pretty good. Okay. So, everything being in order there... I would rather... Let's go into the store. I'm also... I'm probably gonna hire someone. We got flamers, we got long-range missiles, heat sinks. Probably want more heat sinks, to be honest. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Can I buy one? Just one? Purchase? 
yeah. New equipment available. We're gonna need that eventually, so yeah. Let's go with that. Uh, and then we have auto cannons over here. They're pretty expensive. And we have partial mech salvages. We don't actually... No, that's just partial mech salvage. You see how expensive it is? It's kind of crazy. And we can sell no mechs. We can sell the partial mech salvage, interestingly enough. Uh, we could sell these weapons, but look at how cheap they sell for. So it's it's really... If you want weapons, you go for salvage. So that's good enough. Uh, let's go into contracts, because we are going to be out... Uh, not contracts, mech warriors. Uh, higher? Yeah, because we only have three, so we're going to need somebody else. Uh, contract... What? Mech bay... Why do they always call call her Myers at the beginning of the game, and now it's Sue Meyer all this all of a sudden? Did they change that? Hmm. I thought it was Myers. Okay, okay. I will refer to her as Myers forever. Uh, so hiring hall. That's the one. Let's see what do we have over here. We got recruits. They're pretty expensive. We got a gunner over yes, here. Commander. Hey, how's it going? Uh, are you good at things? I wonder. We got tremor. Well, maybe we should start with lower ones and not splurge. Although, Waiting for orders. gunnery is always good. Reputation 10% price increase. That's why. Receiving. Standing by. So, Spooky. She is an Oregon, Oregon commoner, enlisted infantry recruit, mercenary corporal. That's all good. Her price is incredibly high per month. What's the... Awaiting orders. That's quite different. That's not going to be a big difference. Yeah, let's go with her. I mean, the difference in skill is not New mech relevant. Available. Uh, so I didn't even read what she was all about. Uh, mech warriors, that's the one. Uh, so we got pioneer. Oh, she. Ha no, that's just uh, sort of whatever. What's the like? Cr what's the age creases called? Like, yep. Yeah, you know, like you got creases in the skin when you age. That's what she gets over there. I thought that was like a, a an augmentation or something, but it's not. Uh, service record, she's a Torian commoner. Perhaps unlikely there is very little distinction between nobility and commons in the Torian society. Well, I don't see that as a bad thing, I suppose. Uh, so we're waiting over here. Receiving. Very straightforward, you don't have experience. Yes, Medusa, Medusa, what is up? So we got tactics over here. Uh, let's see, so basically... Before I choose what I want, so I'm not gonna want to go with this one. I'm gonna go with something else Because uh, that that much I remember for Vic uh, So we have this unit generates x-ray evasive charge for movement actions and then over here This unit can move after shooting. Yeah, that's that's probably what I want there uh, Then we have guts. I think this is for melee attacks successful melee attacks knock your car uh, target back one initiative that's pretty decent. Of course, better employed on mechs that can do that. And sensor lock, that's for scouts, I would say. It tends to be for scouts. And then mechs piloted by these gain plus one initiative. And yeah, that's it's going to be always good. So... Awaiting orders. Medusa, orders. can you be a gunner and a melee? Can you be... No, just be a pretty good gunner, I would say. What's this one? Uh, from extra movement. Yeah. So I'll go with the evasive over here training complete and i'll have him be a gunner right there so basically that's going to be the the uh target Good for you go. and you're also being a gunner but you're going to get you're going to have uh so this is for guts maybe so that's for melee so if you're a special yeah so basically medusa i want yep. him to have this and her i want her to have that but if i want her to have that what else do i want her to have uh, gains guarded. That's always nice if she doesn't move. Uh, it generates one extra evasiveness. And we have sensor lock. For snipers, that's actually pretty good. So I'm not going to do anything with her. But we have our next team. So let's go into the uh, contracts. Let's take our mech to this one. Let's negotiate getting... The money is not good enough. But then again, I, I do need it more than anything, and this is a money run, all things considered, so I'll just go with that. Probably not going to get anything too extraordinary at any rate. Uh, and we have our Centurion. Oh, it also depends. We are going to Tundra. Tundra is good, right? Yeah, Tundra is fantastic. So, wait a minute. What? That's not a Centurion. Then a Shadowhawk. Uh, yeah, actually, a Shadowhawk is probably better here uh, than the Blackjack, I would say. Let's get the Shadowhawk in here. 
so what does the Shadowhawk have? Medium laser, long range ammo, short range. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be pretty good. So the idea here is to have... Uh... Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. The idea is to have m mobility as much as we can for the moment. So let's deploy. Or initiative. It says the initiative. It says everything over there. It's a, it's a pretty good, pretty good uh, deploy screen. I like it. It's tricky to design those things. Let's see. Uh, it's nothing new over here. It's just the uh, whatever the pirate propagandist in the area that just ah oh, this this planetary government. What is this dictatorships and things? Yeah, that's how it goes in in command interface initiated in settings with uh, planetary governments. Commander, says Darius, this is the region we've been asked to patrol as part of the net. Our employers need us to keep an eye out for the propaganda agent, as this one is uh, as this is one possible escape route she might take. If she's in this region, we need to find her and take her out. We can then we can evac. Okay. Commander. Okay, so what can I do? What can I do? So we have supporting the game tells me where they are, or I guess maybe that's just a rough estimation. Uh, how is this gonna be an approach? So they could be over here. Um, destroy supporting enemy forces. I mean, seems pretty simple. We want to approach from here. Oh, well, with the short range guys, and from here with the long range guys. Yeah. How bad can it be? Let's go. See if we can get some line of sight. On the move. Probably won't be able to get any line of sight, but, you know, need to try. Enemy contact. We've got company. Yeah, we do. Incoming bandit. That's Max. And that is not... What, wait a minute, that's just one? What is that over there? Okay, we're in combat. Okay, that guy doesn't have a lot of armor. That's minus one evasion. I don't think that it landed. Okay. So, you go first, which is very surprising, to be honest. And we have movement over there. Uh, so, actually, you're not going to go first. We're going to reserve and see what happens. Because she has... Does she have evasion? Well, minus one, but she does. So, we have some movement over there. Let's reserve and wait for, they, for them to do their thing. There's nothing else to do. I don't know. I don't think the enemy is going to move again. Uh, so I'll move in. Yeah. Let's see. You have a particle cannon, a long range missile. Good to go. You have a long, uh, large laser. I always go for long, long laser, but it's not. Uh, it's pretty medium range mech. And on this one, we have a uh, sort of whatever mech versatile anyway. Uh, so we have some some line of sight over there. That's pretty good. Uh, and we can keep moving and attack. Let's start with that. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have. Well, it depends. Vic is not too bad at shooting. But the idea here is to shoot you. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty good. 80%. Engaging target. And the idea here is to bring uh, that guy... Oh my god. <laughs> Enemy mech. Critical damage. That is so powerful! Oh my god. Assault. I mean, it's a light mech, so it makes sense that it would be that hey, powerful for sure, but I wasn't expecting that. And also, Vic is getting better, so, yeah. Uh, so, we don't have movement over here, or a lot of movement for Vic, because, of course, that's not a very movable... Um, not a very movable tank. Not tank. I mean, I could do that, but I kind of don't want to. I think we need to move forward and fast. Let's, let's get going. Uh, the mech, I mean, not tank. Although these are basically tanks. They're not armors. Some people think that, oh, that's big armor. No, it's not armor. It's a tank. It's a tank. Except it's got two legs. Ready for As orders. tanks do. Because, you know, of course. Uh, can I have line of sight? I can have line of sight. Thank you very much. Moving out. Come on, Medusa. Let's see what we have over here. That's pretty good. Land your shot. I figured. They don't want to waste it, though. Destroyed. They don't want to, um, you know, not not kill it because I don't. I I didn't trust Pioneer over here to do anything. Uh, so we have some some line of sight over here, uh, but we also have a lot of um, initiative. So I'll be able to shoot and come back. 
if I need to. And But that does depend on the initiative of the enemy as well. And that is another Locust over here. A GR7D. I think that's for jump jump things. That's where the GR, GRD comes from. Or GR7 or whatever. Uh, so let's go for a few shots over there. Affirmative. It's a Jenner. No, it's not a Locust. It's a Jenner. Which is good, because that's a little bit slower. I think. I hope. Nope. It's moving. Hopefully not. Mm. We do have evasion. Eh, that, that actually worked quite well. There's an, another enemy over there. Okay, let's have Pioneer uh, attack that guy. Not with that, with weapons. Uh, but we need to move as well. So let's let's uh, let's reserve. I don't know what the enemy is gonna do. So I'd rather reserve. Oh, evasion working. We need to take damage, but that's fine. Okay, so they're sort of engaged with us, which is great. I kind of wanted to flank them, but I think it's too late now. Although I'm not sure I can go up there. Eh, there's plenty of forestry over there, so let's just see if they attack again. I mean, it's an easy mission, so maybe that's that. Maybe that's all we needed to do. Uh, so, you're gonna move in, gather your evasion up. Uh, this is a pretty good facing. Okay. Good, good, good. And there we go. Okay, now you shoot that guy to reduce its... Uh, Targeting for an alpha strike. Its evasion. Oh, structure exposed. Well, that's that then. Yeah, that's basically that. Let's move in. Because long range missiles are going to destroy that little guy. And I hope, anyway. 70%. Not very good. Go for it. Uh, that's not bad. I hear ya. Hmm. You don't really have any. Yeah, it's not. We're not really in a position here to, to fire. Speed, no shooting. Huge mountain in front of us. Well, it's not a huge mountain, it's sort of a cliff, but you know, it's a big mountain. Can go over it, so. It's good to go. Uh, let's see what you have. You could fire. You're not gonna have particle. Oh, you have particle cannon range. Oh my God, that guy's so dead. Well, I hope. Particle cannons are also powerful because it's a single hit. It does, how much damage does this do? 50 damage. So let's say it hits, yeah, you see that? 50, they have 50 damage on the center torso. Like, if it hits the head, it's it's gone. Let's go for it. Head, fire. Got it. Eh. At least it reduced the, um, Reduce the initiative, which is the the point, yes, and I can do more things. Uh, so we have the enemy, but the, hmm. I could reduce the initiative even more. Let's reserve for right now. Holding for tactical advantage. Yeah. Oh man. They, oh, that. Guy, yeah. He's he's unsteady, so he's not gonna be able to sprint or anything. I don't think it would be a wise move anyway. He landed a shot, and now we have the enemy. Well. Maybe we do have the enemy. What can I do for you? Can you attack in melee? No, not really. Can you? I think what the game does is tell me the likelihood of hitting when I'm there. But that does sound dubious. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use Vic. Because Vic, at least I know... Well, not with those. At least I know she can do quite a lot of damage. Well, hopefully so. Let's do this. And up the mountain. To the other side. And land that shot. Yeah, it's not even too bad with long-range missiles. Engaging target. Lost evasive. And I'm concerned about the enemy. Because I want them to come down. Yeah, I'm going to need to go and spot them. And there's one evasion. That's fine. Oh, we have it still. Yeah, I was just going to stay there for a little while. Because we're... Somebody else is doing something. Waiting for order. Uh, so I'm probably going to have Medusa. Do another little mean thing to that guy. Got it. And maybe another aimed shot. See if I can land the shot in the head. 
It's very unlikely, but you can try. Go for it. Yep. That did it. But it was not, that one's good. not a headshot. So pretty good. Of course, we... Oh, no, we, get, we gained a lot of morale. I hear ya. Uh, okay, so do we have visual? We don't. Pioneer. Orders. Move in. And move in a lot. Like a lot. I want you to see Roll what that is. And I want you to do damage if at all possible. Do we have visual? Oh, yeah, we do. What is this? This is one... Oh, yeah, it's a Shadowhawk. Except without the little shroud. Isn't that such a nice detail? <laughs> it is so cool. I like it so much. The fact... You know, th that little detail of... Just... It looks so different. Uh, let's go for the legs. See if we can make it unstable. Everything I've got. Primary target damage, Commander. Yep. And he's thing destroyed already. My god. That's going to hurt. That is going to hurt, yeah. And it's not even... That's bad, actually, that, that the heat sink was destroyed. Oh, no! It, oh, he, he hasn't taken damage. But the heat sink was destroyed. The armor is gone. Okay, so it doesn't need to take damage on the physical, or whatever this is. Structure? Yeah. It doesn't need to take structure damage to destroy things. It only needs to uh, lose armor, and then critical's gonna happen. Uh, we got a lot of short-range missiles over here. Two, well, we got four short-range missiles, two medium lasers. Uh, so the heat sink is definitely going to help. But we are out of time for the day, so we're going to have to deal with this little guy next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and uh, this has been Battletech. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.